Hello my friend and welcome back to my channel Mathematics. In this video we're going to solve this really interesting question. This is a great challenge for everyone to solve this really interesting school question and a lot of students do this mistake and I wanted to record this video. So on your screen you can see a problem. We have 3 divided by 3 divided by 3 divided by 3. Yeah, on the first side this is a very simple problem. We have all division, we have all the same numbers. It's not like a huge powers right here, parentheses, square root. We have only division, only only three on, on both sides right here. So on the first side, this is very simple problem. But a lot of students do this mistake and I wanted to record this video. First of all, I suggest you to pause the video and try to solve it by yourself. Let's check our, our, our answer in the end of the video. And I'm going to solve this question here in just one minute so we can easily check our answers. It's a really great and really tricky question and it's really great you to, to solve it by yourself and write your suggestion into the comment section. You can easily check your school, uh, school math or uh, algebra skill right here. Here. Okay, so here's our question and I want to rewrite it. So we have 3 divided by 3 divided by 3 and divided by 3. So here is our question and, uh, and I wanted to start with this solution. I don't want to tell that this is correct or incorrect, but a lot of students solve it like that. They say, okay, 3 divided by 3 on the left hand side, it looks like 1. Yeah, if we divide it and we have the same expression on the right hand side. So we have 3 divided by 3. We have the same expression. This is the same one. And if we divide it, we can easily say that 1 divided by 1 equal to 1. We have this option, we have this option A. So it looks like A is a correct answer for most of most students, but let's try to solve it correctly and let's try to solve it according to correct order of operation. Because as you can see, right here we solve it uh, wherever we want. We go from left, we jump from left to right, so right here we divide, right here we divide, and as a result we have A option 1. This is maybe the main obvious solution right here, but I don't want to tell that this is correct or incorrect. Let's try to look at a correct order of operation because obviously whatever order of operation we select is going to create a different answer, right? So we need to understand what is the correct order to do this problem. This division at first, then this one, or uh, this division, then this one. So as you can see, a lot of combination. So let's try to solve it according to a correct order of operation. For this question, I have, for example, let's look at this PMDMC order of operation. This is the main, pop the most popular order of operation in the world. All the internet libraries works according to PMDMC. And let's uh, solve this question according to this order of operation. Maybe we'll have the same answer as right here, maybe the correct answer is 1. Yeah, let's let's check it. Okay, here is our question. So we have 3 divided by 3, divided by 3, and divided by divided by 3. So here is our question. But let's solve it according to PMDMC. Right here we solve it uh, from left to right real quick, right here division in the middle, so it looks like option A is a correct. But right now let's solve it according to PMDMC. Take a look closely. This PMDMC works from the top to the bottom and right here we have a lot of steps, but we're going through the steps real quickly because right here we have parentheses, but in our question we don't have parentheses, so we just we just skip this part, which is, which is really great because with parentheses this question will be like more complicated. We just need to skip this part. Okay, the next step, exponents. What about exponents? Where do we have these exponents? Squares, cubes, 5th uh, power, 10th power? I don't see any of those, so we don't, we don't uh, have any exponents and we skip this part al uh, already. Okay, the next step, multiplication. And a lot of students do this common mistake because according to PMDMC we need to uh, add to this multiplication, we need to add division, yeah? In our case we don't have multiplication, but it's a big mistake, we need to look at it as a group. So right now in the third step, as you can see, we need to scan multiplication and division sign. In our question we don't have any multiplication sign, we have only division sign. So right here it is our first step. We have only division. Moreover, we don't have addition, we don't have subtraction, as I told before, but I want you to go through this PMDMC, I want you to understand this, this approach. Okay, we have only only division. But as you can see right here, we go from left to right. But in, in PMDMC, according to PMDMC, we need to go from left to right as well, but we cannot jump. Right here we, ju we already jumped from left to right. Right here we need to go from left to right, but with every sign, with every operation sign. So the first sign from left to right, so we need to scan what is the first sign from left to right. The first sign from left to right is this division. So let's divide at first 3 divided by 3. The same step is right here. But let's do this. So we have 1, 3 divided by 3 equal to 1, then we have 1 divided by 3, divided by 3. Okay? As you can see right now we still have this expression with division and right now we need to scan what is the first sign from left to right. Right here we uh, find this expression because this is our next step, but in our case the next step is this one, is this division in the middle I would say. So 1 divided by 3, 1 divided by 3, this 1 divided by 3, so from left to right. 
And 1 divided by 3 equal to 1 over 3, so we can write it in a fraction way, 1 third. And we still have this division, so the last division, 1 third divided by 3. And our answer, if we divide it, it looks like 1 over 9. Yeah, it looks like that. So here is, here is our answer. So once more, from left to right, we need to scan what is the first sign. This division, first sign, then we divide. This division, the first sign from left to right, we divide. So it's kind of a tricky question because a lot of students do this common mistake. They say, okay, this division, this division, the correct answer is option A. In our case, correct answer is one over nine. This is option, option C is a correct answer. I write this answer right here. So our answer, a correct answer is option C. But one more minute, one second, take a look closely. Right here, if you put brackets right here, parentheses, then correct answer is one, because right here we start from parentheses, right here we start from parentheses, so we have one divided by one equal to one. In our case, we don't have parentheses, so we just we just reject this uh, this option because this is absolutely incorrect. So we hope you understand my explanation, but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. I wish you all the best. I hope you're, you're doing great with mathematics. And of course, you can easily support me with your subscription or like uh, leave a like. I really appreciate it. I wish you all the best. Have a great day and take care of yourself.